Hello world, this is God, and I'm here to give you the Bible's most misunderstood scriptures. You know what I'm saying? If you get these scriptures in your mind, I'm not going to, yes I am, I'm lying, but if you get this in your system and you pay me $48 for this right here, that's price to give $20 to you when you get somebody to join and they buy this. Because everybody in the world must buy this. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. The most, the Bible's most misunderstood scriptures. Genesis 1. 27. I'm going to go to it. Because, uh, but I'm going to tell you what I got wrote down. Genesis 1 27. And I got wrote down, uh, created he, him, means created himself, him. Male and female created himself, them. God created himself when he created me. You know what I'm saying? Remember that. Boy, I went all the way to front of the book. You're supposed to. 127. So God created man in his image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. Created God when I created man. I created he, him. He, them. That's when I created them one. You might, you, you. All the women of the world, Diane, and all the women of the world, I want y'all to see that right there. Male and female created he, them. He created God, them. But then he created himself, them. But he also created he, them, man, male, he, them, not she, them, he, them. That's why you got woe man, just like man, but woe man. And ain't nothing wrong with no gay person, man. Hey, man, I'm not gay, but I'm going to tell you like this. They gay because when they was in heaven, they was the opposite sex. Then they wanted to see what it was like to be, uh, what should I say? They wanted to see what it was like to be the opposite sex on earth. So, uh, they didn't like it when they got older. They didn't like it because they had to deal with the, the opposite sex was who they was. And they didn't like that because they thought that was gay. So they wanted to just be, they thought something was wrong with that. And they thought something was wrong with us. That's why gay people can't understand this because they think we wrong for being straight. Hmm. You ever thought about that? Love everybody. Gay people love everybody that don't love you. And if they wrong, then I'm going to send them to hell. If they judge you for being gay, guess what? They go to hell. 
I mean that, Nisi and everybody who think like that. But that's number one. God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. And that was the sixth day. You know what I'm saying. Now God bless them and all that them. And that was the sixth day. God saw everything was good. You notice, was nothing growing. Because it says, thus says the, I mean, just the heavens and the earth were finished. And all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. He rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. And because that in it, he had rested from all, his, from all the work which God created and made. Thus are the generations of the heavens and the earth which they had, they were created in a day which the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Every trend, this is what I mean when I say it wasn't nothing growing to all y'all preachers that talk about everything was growing on the sixth day and all that, it wasn't nothing growing. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not, not a man to till the ground. There went up a man, uh, and there was not a man to till the ground. Because man, guess what? was already here but this man that they talking about here was Adam the first Adam that was not a man to till the ground and there went up a mist from the earth and watered the face of the whole ground and the Lord God, God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathing his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. That's when you became a living soul. You became a living spirit. Because remember, in, in 27 it says, He created he, him, meaning he created himself, you. You was created in our image. Let's create man in our image. Everybody was already here, but we just named you Adam. We just named you Sam. We just named you Diane. We just named you Betty. We just named you Steve Harvey. We just named you Michael Jordan. We just named you Oprah Winfrey. We just named you Bob Hope. We just named you everybody who we named in the world. But your first name was God when you came out your mama's womb before they gave you a name because everybody was God. It's said in your scripture. I'm going to get to that. But let's go to number two. Let not that man think he will receive anything from the Lord mean. Instead of thinking, you must know to receive. See, that's what it means. Let's go to that. I think that, uh, no, I don't know what that said. I, I gotta, you know, find it. I It's in there, but then, let not that man think he gonna receive anything from the Lord. Don't mean he not gonna receive nothing. Like everybody think it mean. Oh, that means you're not going to receive nothing from the Lord. No, that ain't what that means. Double-minded don't mean that uh, 
you don't believe it it means that you you think you think God will do it but you're not sure that that's why you got to go past believing sometimes and you must know in first Thessalonians 3 11 God himself and the father Adam and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way to you we in the last Adam the son but God himself and the father that's two of us right there the father is Adam and then number three you got our Lord Jesus Christ we all direct our way to you you know what I'm saying and then if you go to Psalms 82 6 it's, it, it talks about you being who you are and that is you all gods you know what I'm saying everybody gods we're all gods and it tells you it says uh, you are I mean I have said you are gods and all of you are children of the most high but you gonna die as men and fall as one of the princes because you are not gonna believe you gods you know what I'm saying you gonna believe other people saying does that make us gods no like T.D. Jakes and stuff like that condemning yourselves you know what I'm saying and then Jesus said it again let me tell them God this Jesus in John 10 34 go there when the Jews wanted to stone me for saying I and my father are one and then I said I turned and told, asked them, why do you want to stone me all the good works that I've done for you? I preached in the synagogue all the time. What, what you want to stone me for? And then they told him, we don't want to stone you for your good works. We're going to stone you because you being a man make yourself God. That's why we're going to stone you. And then I told him, I said, isn't it written in your law? I said. You are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But you going to mean, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. I just got carried away thinking of that scripture. But I was thinking of that scripture when I said it. That's why I almost said it's the wrong scripture. But I said, isn't it written in your law? I said, you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came. You know what I'm saying. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and that scripture cannot be broken. I spoke through Isaiah. You know what I'm saying. Isaiah. I spoke through Isaiah. So when I spoke through Isaiah. That means Isaiah was me, God. He wasn't Isaiah when he was speaking them words. Where is the house that you build to me? Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. That wasn't Isaiah. That was me. But I was speaking through Isaiah's body. Like right now, I'm speaking through Adam's body. Telling you the things that I'm telling you. Like Jesus came for sin. To condemn sin. You know what I'm saying? In Romans, in Romans uh, 8 3, I think it's Romans 8 3. Let me go to it. Let me go to it and see. Romans 8 3. Yeah. For what the law could not do. In that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. Get that, underline that, for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Meaning he was for sin, like when the woman was brought in in the very act of adultery, they caught her. But then he said, you who are without sin cast the first stone. You don't supposed to judge her. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't because you're a sinner yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to judge you because I'm a sinner myself. Ain't nobody good but God. Why do you call me good? Nobody good but God. That's what I told them. It's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And then some people don't know. They think I was the last Adam. No, I wasn't the last Adam. It's Jesus. I was the second Adam. You know what I'm saying? The Lord from heaven. The first Adam was made a living soul. And the, the second Adam was made a living spirit. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was made a living spirit. He was the Lord from heaven. The second man is the Lord from heaven. And then, you know what I'm saying? You can go to uh, Jude 14, where it says, where it says Jude 14. Let's go to Jude 14. Let's go to Jude 14 and see what Jude 14 talk about. That is Jude 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam. Who? Underline that. Adam, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold the Lord. Who? Adam, the Lord. Cometh with ten thousand of his saints. And guess who Adam going to execute? He going to execute judgment upon all. To convince all that are ungodly among them. Of all their ungodly deeds. Which they have ungodly committed. And of, their, uh, of all their hard speeches. Which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. That's who I'm coming to be against. All y'all who was against me. You know what I'm saying? This God. And the last Adam is the first Adam with Jesus. And God and the kingdom of God in the last Adam. That's who uh, the last Adam is. The last Adam is the first Adam with Jesus. And God and the kingdom of God. And they return to the earth in the last Adam, which is me, the young one. You know what I mean? The 52 year old one. All of us 52, Adam. This Jesus. This God, Adam. We all 52. We with you. We in you. This Michael Archangel, Adam. Jesus' return was March 14th, 2018, the year of one. Jakai. Jesus, Latroy Jackson, was born. Yes, that's my grandson. You know what I'm saying? And you got Rowan Zakavian, Ray Straw Jackson, which was born first. He's four now. And then you got James O'Neill, Cargill Jackson, and he's uh, two now. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, yeah, he's, you know, he'll be two. July and he'll be one in July that's right he'll be one in July July uh, 6th you know what I'm saying Adam is the Lord in June 14 we already went through that that was eight so we already got eight out the way Adam is the Lord in June 14 that's me with Jesus and then it say preachers allow number nine is preachers allow Satan to use them to accuse the brethren from behind the pulpit. Michael Archangel dared not accuse Satan in Jude 9. He simply said, Lord rebuke you, and Satan was cast down. There is and there will never be accusers in heaven. Because the angels received salvation when the accuser of Satan was cast down. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to bring accusing back to heaven. And this is now heaven. So remember that. And speaking in tongues, number 10, speaking in tongues, speaking in true tongues is speaking as others. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing right now. This hour. I'm speaking in God's tongue right now. But God, you go ahead, but then let them know that I'm speaking in your tongue now, God. Yeah, y'all, this God. 
Adam speaking in my tongue now. And this Michael Jordan, he's speaking in my tongue now. And this Oprah Winfrey, he's speaking in my tongue now. And this Steve Harvey, he's speaking in my tongue now. But we are going to be speaking in our own tongues, God, with you. When we come to see you, God, soon. We coming. It's going to be a party, God, to Steve Harvey. So get ready. Faith without work, number 11, is faith without works means faith without believing. Because believing is the work. The disciples asked Jesus one time, what is the work that we must do to be saved? And Jesus said, believe in him who he sent. Go and learn this simply. Believe in him who he sent. So that's the work that you must do is believe. So faith without works is dead don't mean faith without putting your hands on it is dead. It means faith without believing is dead. Believing is the work. And God does evil when needed. He killed the husband and wife that sold their house and lied about the money. And then Paul made a man blind and asked for interfering with the word being heard. So you got to know, God, hey, God do evil and good. You know what I'm saying? He need, he, he don't need Satan for that. Satan already done do it for him. You know what I'm saying? When, and that's another thing that people got wrong. People think that the devil uh, work, didn't work for God. The devil did work for God. That's why he did things because God said, turn their body over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. So they soul could be prepared by God. You know what I'm saying? Prepared for God. You know what I'm saying? That's what Satan's job was. To destroy the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Give you cancer. Give you all kinds of stuff. So it'll humble your butt down so you'll be right for God. Your heart will be right for God. And number 13, the last one that I wrote down. Noah's son did not touch his mother or father. He made God mad because Satan's spirit survived and made Noah's son accuse him. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of Satan, which was the spirit of the accuser, was in Noah's son. And when he judged his daddy, he accused his daddy of being naked. And then the other sons went in backwards. And covered the father up. He didn't touch his father. He didn't rape his father. And nothing like that. No sex was involved. What was involved was Satan showed his face again when he accused Noah of being drunk. That's why God got mad. Because Satan was still around. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got to remember that when you accuse people, Satan is in you. You know what I'm saying? That's against God. That's not of God. Accusing is not of God. That's against God. You know what I'm saying? So remember that. But I'm going to get off this thing now. I hope y'all learned something. But uh, I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later. I love y'all. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.